Hi, I'm Kira Weiserbs. Today I'm demonstrating the highly textured and elastic English Brio stitch. It has raised ribs on the front side of the pattern and a fish scale pattern on the reverse side. The brioche technique uses different looping patterns on the front and back rake. On the back rake, stitches are knit off after weaving each row of the English stitch pattern. Or on the front rake, bottom loops are only knit over the top loop when there are three stitches on a peg. This is the looping diagram for the English stitch. The English stitch uses the forward wrap from the stockinette stitch for both its forward and return wraps. To knit this stitch, weave the yarn around every caddy corner peg until you reach the last peg in your knitting sequence. The return wrap loops around the same pegs, but in the reverse direction. Now I'll demonstrate the English Brio stitch on the double rake loom. Weave your yarn around the pegs using the English stitch pattern. Knit off loop pairs on the back rake. To form even stitches, push the yarn between the rakes and pull on your anchor. Now we're ready to knit another row of the English stitch. Again, we knit off loop pairs on the back rake. Now on the front rake, there are three loops on every other peg. Knit off the bottom two loops over the top loop on each of these pegs. To form even stitches, push the yarn between the rake and pull on your anchor. Here is the resulting fabric. It has raised ribs on the front side and a fish scale pattern on the reverse side. I wanted a concise way of representing stitch patterns on the double rake loom. I couldn't use traditional knitting charts because they represent single sided fabrics and do not specify rake specific instructions. So I designed a knitting chart system for the double rake loom that could represent double side fabric and provide rake specific instruction. This is the knitting chart for the English Brio stitch with raised ribs on the front side and a fish scale pattern on the back side. The knitting chart has two sections, a prep section that identifies how to cast on and a repeat section that specifies the number of rows that form a unit pattern. Peg numbers are on the bottom and knitting instructions for each section are on the right. Instructions that only apply to one rake are specified by a number followed by FR for front rake or BR for back rake. For example, one FR refers to row one on the front rake in the repeat section. Instructions that apply to both rakes have numbers, but since the English stitch has different looping patterns on each rake, the instructions are rake specific. The open circles, such as row one on the prep, indicates to weave the yarn around the pegs. The first row of the repeat section has open circles on the front rake and closed circles on the back rake. The closed circles symbolize that yarn is woven around the pegs and bottom loops are knit off over the top loop. On the back rake, stitches are knit off after every row. However, on the front rake, bottom loops are only knit over the top loop when there are three loops on a peg. The repeat section for this stitch adds one row of English Brio stitches to your fabric. 